Hello, Monsters of Andrew, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. And part uh, 7, I want to say 7, probably 7. Look, it's been, it's been a... It's been a week, alright. Been at Disneyland. Um, the trees tell me much. Do they? Did they, did they, did they say I was at Disneyland? Anyway, um... <clears throat> yes, we're Disneyland Paris, and I managed to break my... My steps. Record every single day. Um, so now I'm broken. And on top of that, while the trip itself was amazing, and uh, Squidge loved it, enjoyed every second of it, the journey back was an absolute fucking nightmare. So anyway, I'm, a, I'm knackered, basically. Um, yeah, no, no rest for the wicked, eh? Right, so we've managed to... to I think we've have we managed to build all this stuff. Hang on, two turns. We've got two turns. Two turns, but then there's more to, to build. And then maybe... This this will do something. I don't know. I genuinely don't. Know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're also fighting Ted because I don't know. He started it, didn't he? He he he, he was going for it. He was going for us. Don't know why. Um, he 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 went for us. So we're gonna have to deal with him. I'm probably going to give this stuff to Castalton and potentially try and get Castalton to declare war on him, so that removes that little problem from being on my doorstep. Because really what I want to concentrate on is Albion. And also, for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why, kicking the shit out of Malekith. So there we go. Uh, we're going to upgrade you. Do I need to... Where's, where's Naglafari playing? It's there. Yeah, we probably do want defences there, don't we? Just in case. Just in case. Are you at war with... No, you just really don't like them. Um, I will. Yeah. The Raven split day. Okay, good. Uh, tell you what, what about you fighting them? All right, all right. Hear me out. Hear me out. What about I declare war on them? You declare war on them. Oh, interesting. Success awaits. Okay, we'll do that uh, because we want to kill Malik at some point anyway. And I don't know. Fuck it. Basically, fuck it. Seems to be the reason. Good. Right. So we are going, Glen. Glad you're. F I mean, I'm a little bit concerned about the Citadel of Lead. That's the only thing. I just don't know where these guys are going. So I'm going to head towards the Citadel because we can always run back. These guys don't move very fast. I've been told that a lot. To be honest, mate. You, know, you, hear, you hear it so often. It loses all meaning. Can we assault them? Yeah, get on that one. Lovely. Uh, we can get some more upside down deer because that's always fun. Looks like the good guys seem to be winning this quite nicely, so I'm feeling feeling pretty good about that. And then we can we can get um what's his face? Castalton. Castalton to, to declare war on Ted as well. It's surprising that Ted and Castalton and indeed the Raven Queen aren't already at war with each other anyway, but the AI does seem to be wildly passive towards each other, doesn't it? Uh, they don't seem to I mean they do go to they do go to war, but it, it's like they don't really want to fight too many people. They'll, they'll, you know, they'll have one, maybe two wars, maybe. Um, but as soon as the player's next to them, they're like, fuck that guy. Right, uh, you want defensive lights and you're willing to pay me. Um... Tempting, but no. Tempting, but no. Oh, fuck you. Did you go for the Citadel of Level? Thank fuck. I wasn't sure where they were going. Thank fuck. Cause not the other guys moved really slow. They were dragging their heels, weren't they? Eh? Hmm. Uh, now, is this... What, what is this? What is this? It's, oh, it's just a field battle. Right, we can fight that one then, can't we? We can fight that one. Uh, sure. And, um... Yeah. All right. Something like that? Yeah, all right. Well, thank goodness Glenn was in the right place at the right time. Not Glenn. He's got four big boys. He's got three Albion giants and he's got the green man. Uh, I mean, man is not accurate, but it did, did fine. Is 
as the enemy army advances, we have our flanking force moving around. Ideally, to try and engage on this, also to take out the enemy artillery. They do have two units of uh, artillery there a goblin doom diver and a goblin rock lobber that's currently just desperately trying to shoot at the fen beasts which is a bit of a weird shout seen as they are fairly resistant to artillery and also have regeneration so i'm uh, not entirely sure why you'd want to do that but fine whatever our giant's moving in to engage the enemy giant it's hot giant on giant action i think we got you know three to one advantage think we might be all right there Meanwhile, cavalry, I'm going to send the doggos to go and eat the artillery crews. And meanwhile, the hob hobblers, hobbiliers, and the firstborn sons are going to turn around to engage the enemy cavalry that's currently trailing us. Uh, I wasn't too worried about them, to be honest. They did send an Arachnoc spider at one point. I don't know why they're so invested in, in dealing, well, I say dealing, dying to my cavalry, to be honest. Seems like a weird option. May as well just go for my main army. I mean, again, this is not going to be a difficult battle, so... Uh not super concerned about that. Goblin fanatics flying out and flying in the wrong direction, which is uh, helpful. Green man chasing after some of these uh, orc biggins. And we can see the chosen Ishinos having mauled the enemy cavalry on that flank. Our cavalry quickly dealt with the enemy cavalry. No problem there. And now we're just currently wailing on the enemy giant. He he ain't doing so good. What have you have? You've got the I mean, elemental. Do you have the aura thing? Oh, you do have the aura thing. So you just cause damage to everyone around you, which is... Uh, I love a dot. I love a dot, me. Some goblins... Charging in, use fanatics again, the wrong direction. Managed to just generate a shit ton of jam, which I'm in favor of. Oh, even more jam as they go through the wow, those what, what were you thinking? What you didn't even fire the fanatics in the right fucking direction, you lunatics. Bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Never mind, the Red Rock Spider is uh, making a break for it. Glenn moving up, he's gonna, he's gonna do a flex, he's attacking the weird, wrinkly pink underbelly. Throwing some, some crows at it. 534 hit points. Not very much. Taking some fire there as well. And then finally, Glenn moves in for the coup de gras. Eventually. He'll get there. Hang on. He's going to probably just crush it with his thighs. Yep. Base, basically that. Well, it's fortunate that we sent Glenn over. Invasion defeated. Well done, us. I say us, me, obviously. Uh, right, we'll bop, bop him. Well, I'll tell you what. Immediately. Nice. I feel like uh, our lad there learned a few things, which is good. And we'll bop you. Let's see, get the fuck out of my house. Boop, boop, boop. Faction destroyed. Trees tell me much. Yeah, you should really just stop listening to trees. Quiet. Listen. No. Um, yeah, let's do this. Good. Okay. So we've got some defences here. That one's building. We are going to bop the Forbidden Citadel. Let's go and bop that one. Should just be able to bop that? Yeah. Yeah, right. I will do this because then what I can... Ooh, Talisman of Leads. Perfect for a drinking goblet. I want to tell you what, if we build that one, then for some reason the AI will wildly overvalue the settlement. Fuck knows why, but it's not my problem. is not my issue. Oh, if we can kick Ted back over onto I think that's what we do. We kick him up. And then hopefully by that point these guys will be bopping them for me. 
and that'll take all the stress out of it, won't it? Won't be my problem. Good. I mean, we've got a few provinces. I've made, managed to make myself a lovely, long, undefendable empire there. Lucky me. Yes, Tyrion? Um, yeah, go on. Larian is dead. Killed by what, though? Hmm, probably Marathi. Right, we need to stop the Dark Elves getting too strong, so I might need to send assistance. The power of nature is yours. Good. Can we reach the Monolith of Flesh next turn? Oh, hello. Hello. Um, do I want more Winds of Magic? I would like some Winds of Magic. You know, just, just any, really. Any. Any would be nice. With us. Your false faith will not hold you back. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Tell you what. Uh, no. Yeah. The Forbidden Citadel. Join my war against those two. Okay, you don't want to join... Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just concentrate on one. Okay, you'll do that. And you'll give me stuff and money. Perfect. There will be no... No, there will be retribution, just not to me. You see? See how this works? Okay, that army is bad. So we're fine. That is a bad army. You know what, I'm temp well, you know what, by the time we've finished hit, well, hmm, how long, right, how long is this going to take? 12, 8 and then 12 turns. 20 turns. Fuck me. I mean, there's no point coming back to Albion until we've dealt that, dealt with that. Once we've done that, we can kind of sail over, can't we? We can get the buddy system going. Duriel and Glen against the world. Should be good. So then I guess we just, uh, we just chill. Uh, we can build up this stuff and this stuff. Oh, I should have tried trading. Maybe if I take this settlement, I can trade it for Longship Graveyard. Because I would like Long... I, I would like... I'd, I'd take Longship Graveyard. I'd take Longship. That'd be good. Okay, you just go over there. Um, that's generally fine. I'm not... So Why did I lose furs? I've got so many for... Oh, because I sell the settlement. I've got so many fucking furs, though. Oh look, there's old the old Grudgebringer. Cap Colonel no, Captain Bernhardt. Birdhart? Bernhardt? Heartburn? One of them. One of them. Uh God. It's just, it's just fuck all winds of magic. This entire fucking Oh no. Okay, that's two armies. That's two armies. Right. Batten down the hatches, even though that means we have absolutely fucking no magic. Just none. Just absolutely zero. The trees tell me much. <sighs> God damn. God fucking damn. Everyone wants frenzy, don't they? What about you? Oh, we don't have enough. Uh, well, tough. You're going to have to live without woad. What's this? Oh, waystones uncovered. They must be rebuilt urgently if the world is to overcome the end times. More control, less corruption, less recruitment costs, melee attack when fighting against those guys. I'm assuming that's because we've got like a minimum of level one, and then if we get a minimum level two, it'll upgrade. It'd be nice if it actually said something like that. Um, but still, I'm assuming that that, bu that buff gets bigger. Why is there two armies here? I mean, they're not very good armies, but I get the sneaky suspicion they're about to fight two armies with one. And, well... Hold on to your butts. Despoil, ravage. Yeah. Yeah, thought that might happen. Oh, three, three, well, not, not three armies. Two and a little bit armies, still. That's more than I would have liked. Although it does say I could auto-resolve that and only lose the druids. Oh, well. Oh, that that rock throwy throwy boy. What's it? 
at all. Throws a good boulder. I think the boulder is supposed to split as well, but it doesn't seem to be showing up. But I think that's what it does. So it does, does quite a lot of damage, actually. And we're just lobbing it right into the heart of hordes of demons, which is doing an absolute number on them. It's pretty great. We are not corner camping. We just happen to be near the the map edge. As you can see, there's a big gap here in between. So it's not caught. Sh shut up. And uh, over here, we've got the, the centaurs. They're kind of just stationary for the moment, hiding in the trees. And we've got some doggos trying to flank us, which of course is pointless because they can't flank us because we are corner coming I mean, uh, by, by the map edge. And um, so we're going to use our centaurs basically to deal with it. They're trying to hide their doggos in the trees. I don't think they're actually hiding the doggos in the trees. I don't think the AI knows how to hide shit. I think any time it hides shit, it's purely by accident. So the centaurs come tearing out of the trees to engage the flanking force because they're so far away from any kind of support we should be fine here. So there we go, the, uh, the centaurs ripping in to those flesh hounds doing an absolute number on them, holy shit. And then more and more centaurs charging in, cutting their way through the doggo flanky force, which is good. Meanwhile, our stone thrower has just absolutely annihilated several units of demons done a real real number on them I mean, he's got 149 kills almost 2000 damage dealt as gold and climbing the doggo's being mopped up but we do have a little bit of support now chasing us because the sibilant slaughter car slaughtercade some uh, some Chaos Furious. Fortunately, our boys, we're, we're slightly faster. 113 speed. We can outrun the Chaos Furies, right? Right, because we're three faster than them. So technically, we have we have the upper hand here. We can we can escape. And plus, they, do they have Strider? They don't have Strider. Maybe the trees slow them down a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to tell because you don't actually get environmental debuffs or things like being attacked. In the we did in Pharaoh and in uh, Troy. So if your unit was being attacked from behind, you notice their melee defense dropped quite drastically because they were being attacked from behind, which meant you could sort of like see that. Of course, not all the entities, because it's, it's, it's based on the entity. So for example, if a dog manages to run all the way through and is attacking this guy, technically, this guy's being attacked in the rear until he turns around. That's It's based on each entity, apparently. It's one of those things that Total War never tells you. Uh, in I mean, this guy's only got a speed of 80. How the fuck did he catch up with us? That's bullshit. Anyway, we are ch we are herring back behind our lines. We know that uh, Ted is on his way. He's a paltry level 20. Nothing compared to Durial's 27. Dural? Dur 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 Durex? Whatever. He lands in the midst of the Chosen of Ishinos. A terrible decision on his part as we then throw ourselves in to defeating Ted. Because, of course, Ted, his faction is based around him. So if he dies, uh, this army will be a lot easier to kill. Kakatos is still continuing to throw bold... Oh my god, look how much damage that did. That was insane. Oof, that was like half a unit of kills. He's got 400 kills. It's not bad. Got a little shield of the old ones as Ted gets wailed on. He's being smacked around by the giant. We've got Jurial there. We've got... What's his face? Alan, bloody Alan, as we lay in to the Demon Prince. Oh, oh, he's going down. Down he goes. Not, not good. They've lost their general and faction leader. The problem with any any faction leader that's flying, they do tend to just suicide themselves into... They never used to. They used to be a little bit more cautious, but... Yeah, not so much anymore. Our boys trying to hold the line. The Chosen on the flank took a bit of a beating. So we're just trying to let them heal up a little bit. So we send in... The Oracle's Maiden Guard to act as a shield so they can regenerate because they, they haven't actually lost any entities from their unit. They've literally just taken health damage. So uh, they regenerate. They'll be in tip top condition. Ch 
Chosen obviously doing very well. Giant blooded moving in to help. A little banishment in the rear there. You can see the Blood Sworn, our Woad Raiders, with their tiny little pants on. Just, just giving it beats. Now, Centaurs are currently hiding behind the lines. Some semblance of safety. But we've managed to... There's a breach in the line, so our Centaurs are going to use that to escape. Meanwhile, the enemy... One of the enemy generals goes down to Alan. And Dural is trying to... Uh, is eyeing up the other enemy general. There we go. We've got a break in the line there, so the Centaurs break through. And then start hunting down any fleeing units. Making sure they don't come back. So unit after unit just exiting through that gaping hole in the line. And uh, seeing that there's now enemies behind them, the enemy army decides to break and run. But the centaurs are right behind them. The last few Chaos Spawn just need to be dispatched. And the demons will disintegrate. Once they get sad, because, you know, demonic is bad. We know this to be true. Oh, dear Ted, not doing very well. We'll take the replenishment, because, you know, we need to mop this up afterwards. And seeing as we were only going to lose druids through auto resolving it, I suspect we can probably just auto resolve it. Should be a nice, nice easy auto resolve. That will kick Ted off of Norska back to the Chaos Wastes, and I'm assuming kill most of his armies. So I might regret this, but I think I might just leave him to it. Look, I've got Malekith to beat up. I've got, I've got stuff to do. Yeah, sure. Right, we got. The announcement for the release of Thrones of Decay, which is very exciting. So that's coming up too. So, you know, when when's that going to kick off? Who knows? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Fantastic. Right. Let's finish you off. Hang on, sorry. In an encampment stance, my bad. They'll bop you. That's it. Give them a whip in your pyjamas. Lovely. We'll get the monolith of flesh, which is very boasty. That's what she said. Uh, I'll just purify it. Battle wizard. Okay, we have kicked it. Is that um? Girl calls to me. Yeah, I believe it is. Do we want? Do we want to sail across and just just bop him a little bit more, maybe, just to be on the safe side? The bo are oh, the bollocks. The bollogs. The dog's bollogs. Can't do want him, don't I? Um, right. Do we get rid of the blood? I think we get rid of the blood swim. Get the dog's bollogs. Diaran whispers. The trees tell me much. Okay, then we're going to go... We're, again, we'll get. We'll grab Mentor. I don't want to get voice card. I've got no fucking winds of magic. I've had none for the entire campaign. Nature is yours. Oh, I get gift of life, I guess. For all the fucking good it's going to do me. Everywhere I go, just no winds of magic whatsoever. Bugger all. Uh, that one. And that one, I guess. I'm just going to tick you because you've pretty much got all the spells you need. Likewise, so I'm just going to take you two. Right. What brings you here? I I think I think we are going to sail over. I just I just feel like it's probably the best option. It's not it's not the option I want. Oh, fuck my life! Why? Right, winds of magic. Just oh, there's some here now and here. It's like wherever I go. Everywhere I go. 
Always take the winds of magic with me. I eat none. Fucking zilch. Makes me a caster hero very annoying. Oof. Just, just bullshit. <laughs> I really think, I really think there should be like a really high level. You know, once you get like a character to 40 or something, there should be a plus two winds of magic per turn type thing. That way, if you've got more casters in your army, you're more likely to have winds of magic. It would help anyway, because I think I've had at most 10, 20 extra winds of magic, because you have 20 by default. After Techless, with his, you know, pulling winds of magic out of his ass, this is very vexing. Building an outpost. Oh. Invasion en route. Oh, yes, so it is. I mean, can we? Could we? Could we? It's worth a... Worth a punt. Alright, yeah, we're going to sail over. Sail over. Let's go grab the bilious cliffs. Boop. Uh, we'll do collect high and occupy. Alright, let's go and have a chat with you. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, before we do that, let's find out. What is this settlement here? Okay, it's so the orthodoxy, right? With so. us. Your false faith will not hold you back. Oh, mate, just chill the fuck out. Right, I'll give you the monolith of flesh if you give me Longship Graveyard. Seriously? Yeah, he's never going to give me that, is he? He's never going to give me that. Forgive me for fraternizing with unbelievers. There will be no. Look, I'm sure you can find all the bears you like in the clubs you frequent. Be still. Whispers. And that's fine. I don't judge. That's entirely up to you. But just, you know, cool your fucking jets. Uh, I have actually ticked you, haven't I? So I don't need to worry about you. Good. Okay, so we can hop out and hopefully get some more wins of magic. Is that Malice? It is Malice. Hello, Malice. Obviously, it's Malice. Um, if we can bot Malice, that would actually make our lives probably a little bit easier. And also, it would help the uh, the old Raven Queen. Who's currently strength rank 20. Who's at top? Grimgore's Nagron's at 4. Lovely. War host the apocalypse. Great. Uh, so, so lots going on. You're beating up the chaos dwarves. So that's nice. Uh, it looks like Cathay is catastrophically fucked. Yep. I, I would go with catastrophic. It looks, it definitely, there's definitely a catastrophically fucked sort of vibe coming from Cathay there. Um, so that's fine. And what about, I mean, I've never seen Kolek that sort of motivated. I've never seen Kolek in Cathay, but there he is. You dare to bother with me? Straight I broke right a deal. I don't know where they want us to go and beat up Malekith. You know, surely RK on the Everchosen would be the better, the better option, but far be it from me. Uh, do I want whichever gives me more money? Probably that one, right? It's been so long since... It's been a week since I've played any video games. I played my Steam Deck briefly on the flight, but as soon as it was from Bristol to... to Gay Paris, Charles de Gaulle, uh, we were only in the air for about an hour. So there wasn't really much uh, much time to do anything. I was playing, I was playing Battletech. It's pretty good. I wanted to try Road Tech, but... Getting that installed is an absolute ball ache on the Steam Deck. It's doable, just a ball ache. Because it's not... They never had a workshop for some reason for Battletech. I don't know why. I'm guessing maybe it was something to do with the licensing, because Microsoft have the licensing, I think, for that. For the old Battletech universe. So I'm wondering if they were like, nope, you can't have a workshop. Or maybe they just didn't want to. I don't know. Okay. Forbidden. Could we? Could we maybe be friends? Mm. I'm kind of tempted to go and be friends with you. What? Oh. Attrition. I thought we were immune to chaos weight attrition. 
Immune against attrition caused by chaos corruption. Oh, not chaos waste. Chaos corruption, not chaos wastes. It's different, isn't it? Oh, no. We, well, no. Are we immune? Mm, mm, I'm taking a little bit of damage. We are taking a, a wee, a wee, a wee trifle. Quiet. Listen. A wee, no. wee, wee trifle. Okay, good. Right. Well, you guys, maybe you can soften them up for us. I'd like you to sort of join us, but there's no way I can actually do that. I'd like... Yeah, considering she really likes me, she is not... Relative faction strength. I'm stronger. The baseline evaluation is minus 32, and I don't know why the baseline evaluation is minus 32. That seems like a... That seems like a lot. Sigma, who calls? Who wants to be my friend? So, you and Bo. What brings you to my court? Money. I am but a functionary. Okay. On behalf of the Dragon Emperor and Em. Yeah, I think they're having a bit the of a rough Empire. time at the moment. The looks of it. So, yes. What? Um, Approach his friend and make your you. offer. I will. Who calls? Just for shit sinking. Oh, there's there's Bernhardt. Bernhardt. I trust no man. Hello, ah, oh, the the OG, the OG Amber Wizard. In that he was the one in the video, first video game. Oh, for fuck's sake! Seriously, seriously, That's bullshit. Bollocks. Ah, oh, right. We'll get defenses here. We got loads of money, so we could build stuff. But I don't think there is anything I can build. I think I've upgraded everything I need to. Oh, oh, tell a light. There we go. There we go. Right, we bought this one. This gives us a little, gives us more money. We've got quite a bit of money. We could potentially get another army, but I could make this army even better. Which is also kind of tempting. You just stay there. In fact, if you come over here, when they spawn, I'm assuming next turn, uh, yeah, we can at least assault them. It's something. Defensive. I don't really need a defensive alliance with you because you don't really do anything. You just kind of wander around, which is fine. I've got nothing against it. Oh, the Scourge of Cain have fallen to seduction. Imminent invasion. Maybe it's because I was standing on it. All right, we'll wander over here then, just in case. Oh, holy shit, you actually managed to take it. I, you know what? Didn't, didn't think you'd manage that. I stand corrected. And you are recruiting units as quickly as you can, by the looks of it. Desperately cobbling together an army. Right, we've got professional warriors, which is more melee attack and weapon strength, which is nice. Uh, we could grab holy zeal for sword maidens, druidic initiates, and woad raiders. Uh, winds of magic powers of capacity plus eight. All arm. Well, if I had more winds of magic, that would be better. Because, you know, currently, zero. Still zero? Still zero, yep. There's still zero. I don't think I've ever, in this entire campaign, campi, 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 campaign, been in a region where I've gained winds of magic for more than one turn. Yes, Catherine. Um, I'll go on then. I can't believe they survived longer than than the. Other. Are you are you invading? It says arriving in one turn. Maybe I was too close. Maybe I made them. Maybe I'm. Maybe they're nervous invaders. What brings you here? I can't invade if you're watching. <laughs> You're making you it go back in. in <laughs> Good. Okay. So, oh god, that's that's actually quite a bunch of bunch of chaos for us. That's probably fine. Plus, looks like we've got. Fre Tell you what, um, you. At once. Mm -hmm. Do do you want the Billious Cliffs? And in return, oh, re not even a military alliance, barely a defensive alliance. 
success awaits. Jesus, you just, just, you are a very hard lady to please, aren't you? Very, very hard. Look at all the winds of magic you have. Well, this, this is <laughs> such bullshit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I was literally just. God damn it. It's getting a bloody complex now. Okay, well, they're dead. Invasion on route. Are you... Are you coming or not? Is this... Are you trying to be fashionably late? I, I genuinely don't quite understand what's going on. I will do your bidding. All right, never mind. Could put some woad on you. Should we put the Feral Rage woad? What do we think? What have we got? Uh, I think that, because, I mean, I don't think making a giant, st I mean, making a giant stalk is funny, but not necessarily that useful. Flaming attacks, more money, defense, and armor. Yeah, I don't really care. More weapon strength, feral rage, 600, yeah, that's quite nice. Devastate, I, I genuinely don't think a giant will ever manage to really get devastating Vlanka. Um, so I think this is probably the best you're gonna get. Obviously, that one for them. Right, let's move in and attack. Probably pulling in the reinforcements as well. Says Pyrrhic Victory. Will kill most of my army. This is why we need the buddy system. The buddy system is so... Because it means, you, you know, you're always... Fa I mean, I could... I guess if you have more than... I guess if you... Mm, no? Well, no. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway. So, right. We will kill all of these guys. That's going to have to wait until next time, though. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.